Hello, hi, it's uh, it's it's Wednesday, it's Friday, it's Ash Wednesday today, 17th of February, um, the beginning of 40 days of Lent. Just come back from uh, a lovely service in church this morning, where there was the opportunity to put uh, ash on our heads and to, uh, to take away a, a pebble that had a, a, an ash cross on it, uh, so that we could take it home and remember. A bit more about, about ash later. But I've got a question for you. What sort of person are you? Are you a thinker or a doer? I'm definitely a doer. I love uh, to do things. If I see something, I like to put it right. And whenever a situation comes along, my response is always the same. Well, I'll do something about this. I like to get things done, to get them sorted out. But I don't always think it through very much first. Before we got our chickens, I built that chicken coop that you can see uh, in the background. Uh, and I didn't really have a plan in my head. I just went into the garage and looked to see what I had to make uh, nesting boxes and perches and so on. I just used bits and pieces that were lying around. Uh, and through a process of trial and error, well, they've got a cosy little home. But I'm still having to refine parts of it, uh, and particularly the door. Uh, I think I'm on to my third incarnation of the door. I started with a, a hinged flap that uh, came came down, um, uh, but it didn't work. It was it would get stuck and I couldn't close it properly. I wanted to close it without having to go into the house. So I changed it and I had it more like a drawbridge where it, where it, it hinged up and I had a pulley so I could uh, pull it from outside and well, that used to get soil build up and I couldn't close it properly. So now I'm onto my third uh, incarnation, uh, which it's like a portcullis. So um, uh, the door just slides down and it doesn't matter if there's soil on the bottom because it just doesn't go so far. And I'm trying to make it so that the, the hens are cosy and if there is a fox around, well, it can't get in. But there we are. That's what I've done. The good thing about being a doer is that you get things done. Uh, and often you get them done quickly. But the bad thing is, because I haven't taken the time to think things through, I can end up doing things more than once. I didn't uh, consider the negative sides of the things uh, that I've done. So a couple of weeks ago, for example, I was here in the rectory garden burning some rubbish. Uh, trying to get rid of it and because we've had such wet weather well I couldn't get it going and I thought oh I know I'll just add a little bit of petrol to it so I won't go into the details however there was a small explosion and you may have noticed I've had to trim my beard considerably because one side of my face uh, well the beard was singed off uh, in my unthought through attempt at starting the fire it did start the fire but not quite in the way I had expected. Now, a thinker wouldn't have had three different doors on the chicken coop. A thinker uh, wouldn't have burned off or singed half of their beard because they would have been thinking it through. The, the, the drawback of being a, a, a thinker sometimes is that, well, things maybe wouldn't even get started because you can spend so long uh, thinking things through. And the truth is, I think, what we need are both types of people to make the world run smoothly. Thinkers come up with the best ideas, the best designs and the best strategies, and doers get on and get the job done. And I suppose you might be asking, well, what's this got to do with Ash Wednesday and Lent? Well, in the Christian church, we'll have some festivals that are all about doing. We do things to help us focus on parts of our faith. For example, Christmas, giving gifts, decorations, singing carols, having nativity plays. Uh, at Easter, we uh, share Easter eggs. We have hot cross buns, marches of witness, Easter gardens. They are festivals where we do things, but we also have festivals that are about thinking. And Ash Wednesday is the start of such a festival. We put ash on our heads as an outward sign of what should be going on on the inside. During Lent, we take time to think about the things that we're sorry about, things that we know we shouldn't have said or done. We repent before God and where possible, we try to put things right. One of the reasons that's set for Ash Wednesday is John chapter 8, the first 11 verses. And Jesus uh, is seen there demonstrating compassion and forgiveness to a person caught in a sinful act. 
And that's a great reassurance for all of us that we too can be forgiven when we go wrong. So let's all make the most of this time of being thinkers during Lent and let us all use the next 40 days to grow closer to God. Bye for now.